This is Gerard's Bistro, tucked away in a laneway off James Street in Brisbane's Fortitude Valley. And a short walk across the parking lot is Gerard's Bar. Gerard's is an award-winning combination that has been part of the Brisbane culinary scene for many years and is well known for its innovative Middle Eastern cuisine. And now Gerard's has a new head chef, Adam Wolfers. Adam was formerly head chef at Yellow in Sydney and took his pop-up Etelek around Australia's east coast. He is known for his contemporary takes on classic Jewish cuisine and has a strong affinity for vegetables. Adam has a passion for Eastern European food and will be steering Gerard's in a slightly different direction. Adam, welcome to G&M. Ah, thank you very much. Lovely to be here. Gerard's obviously is very well established and has, a, has a, a style already. How hard is it to change that? Yeah, it, it, it's definitely been a bit of a challenge obviously when you come into an existing restaurant that has an amazing reputation. I, you know, you need obviously my background, I wanted to sort of come here and try and you know, change it slightly, but keep within the Middle Eastern style of food and um, keeping it with respect to what it was before. So yeah, I, I guess for me it was it was a big challenge, but now I've sort of settled in and really found um, you know the like the guests that have come in have really sort of been appreciative and the change and and as well as the staff as well. Yeah. Okay. And and how would you describe your philosophy on food and cooking? Yeah, I, my, my philosophy is very uh, sort of seasonality driven. So uh, vegetables are always a very big part of what what we do here at Gerrard's and it's sort of what I, you know, uh, sort of as a young chef sort of working uh, in different kitchens that were very vegetable focused and then obviously working for Brent Savage is a very big part of my career where I sort of honed in and did a lot of vegetable sort of focus um, so yeah I, I guess like the seasonality of like vegetables really drives the way that we um, you know do here at Gerard's yeah. Has your food style changed over the years um, and, and do you see it moving? Yeah I think like obviously it, it has changed and evolved as I've gotten more mature and um, from all the kitchens that I've worked in uh, luckily um, it's sort of like I feel like I've sort of found my own style and um, it's it's sort of a nice feeling that you've sort of um, picked and grabbed different sort of ideas and things, places that you've worked and then you sort of have brought it all together to sort of make it your own, yeah. Your menu obviously draws upon your, your Jewish heritage. Um, have you had to change it or modify it for the, for the local market, do you think? Um, I've, Thankfully, I haven't really had to, you know, I've sort of kept it, with it, kept within what I feel is what Gerard's is right now. And it's, you know, um, I guess for me, the, the biggest thing is, is I, I want to let the customer, like the guests experience something that they haven't experienced before. And, you know, keeping within my philosophy of like vegetable driven seasonality, um, using local produce that's that is exactly what we're doing right now and I think it's people the, I guess especially the guests are really enjoying what they've been getting yeah and you have some quite creative dishes how, how do you come up with your ideas uh, a lot of the time it's uh, a lot of procrastinating uh, and um, thinking all the time like I, I find that when I sort of leave the restaurant and go home a lot of sort of ideas come to my head and also like talking with local producers on what they have available and in season and then that sort of that's how I sort of come up with new dishes and new exciting things yeah. Before you came here you had your pop-up Etelek um, yeah. and you took that around various different locations um, how difficult is it to transform something and move it and, and uh, like, yeah. the, like the road show. <laughs> Yeah, it, it definitely has its uh, has its ups and downs, you know, living the nomadic life of uh, going to, um, you know, going into different kitchens that have totally different setups and, um, you know, dealing with, you know, driving a van from Sydney to Melbourne or going to Canberra. So all those things is, it's, a, it, it's very taxing and it definitely uh, has its ups and downs, but it was definitely a very vital part of my career where I really appreciated sort of running my own business for for that period of time 
and it really sort of made me realize that I sort of like to be settled in a restaurant and <laughs> have, have a bit more more stability yeah <laughs> how did you go for supplies while you were on the road yeah and there's that that's the biggest thing is because you're dealing you're obviously having to use different produce that's in different seasons and you're, you're having to source certain products that you know they may not have in a different state that you're so used to in in Sydney and and that was definitely a, a big challenge for, for for me yeah for sure yeah. do you do you have a favorite ingredient that you like to work with um, I would probably say my favorite thing at the moment is I really love breads breads is a really big part of Gerard's Bistro as well so um, I'd say flour at the moment is my favorite ingredient. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Flour and water, yeah. And what sort of, what sort of breads are you making? Yeah, so that so basically we're um, a lot of the breads we um, sort of done a lot of research on different breads from different countries and then sort of take like different Middle Eastern countries and sort of done my own sort of twist on it and made it a a bit more fun and a bit more progressive so things like we do like a wood-fired um, fermented bagel so we, we do like a sourdough based bagel and we cook it in the wood fire oven and we use all the scraps from the potato one of the potato dishes and so it's sort of like a a kind of yeah like a cool an interesting bread that we're using um, leftover ingredients to try and you know use up something and then make it its own yeah uh, and think we do like a fermented carrot pita as well so we use all the scraps from one of our desserts which has all these carrot scraps and then we put that into the dough and it has like a different texture and flavor so those sorts of things are kind of what we're doing here is utilizing okay. what we have yeah it sounds really interesting yeah. yeah I know you have a, a slight towards vegetarian dishes as well yeah. and that's obviously quite popular at the moment do you see that trend continuing yeah I think definitely at the moment every everyone is now realizing that um, you know the amount of meat and seafood and that we're consuming is is getting to a point where um, something something needs to be done so like the price of meat and the price of fish is only going to go up and up and we'll, you know by you can still have those items on the menu which we do but we try to make a focus on the vegetables and make that as good as a dish as a meat dish or a fish dish the the vegetable dish has got to um, should be like appreciated as much it's not just a side anymore it's now you know we're getting these amazing organic cabbages from Falls Farm and like tomatoes that you know they can be in its own dish itself because it, you know it, the amount of time and love that's put into growing that it, it should still have its own uh, way to shine on a plate yeah. yeah and you're heroing the, the vegetable itself in that yeah case. exactly yeah. and yeah. we're not doing too much to the vegetable we're just basically making it delicious and it's that's the most important thing is you can do a thousand things to a vegetable, but at the end of the day, it needs to be delicious. So that's that's exactly what I'm trying to bring across with the Gerard's philosophy. Is like we can make a cabbage delicious, and you know it's not just a second thought where we slice it up, ferment it, and turn it into sauerkraut and serve it with something which is you know which is still delicious in itself. But we want to make it you know we. We want to make it its own sort of the star of the show yeah there's a bit of a trend at the moment towards some of these sort of vegan meat substitute dishes you know beetroot bleeding burger patties and yeah. uh, plant-based prawns i saw the other day and uh, i see four and twenties just released a, a meatless uh, meat pie right, uh, okay. th 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 yeah. really would, uh, what you're doing is heroing the vegetables themselves not trying to substitute is that yeah yeah i mean i i think there is a there is a market for that and I think that's great for the people that enjoy that but I don't think you need to try to make something look like a piece of meat it's you know people know it's a cabbage like just let don't do too much to the cabbage just cook it or with the beetroot just make it tasty and delicious and you don't need to mince it up and mix it with all this additives and things like that just to create a, a beef burger patty like it's fine there is a place for that but it's it's definitely not my philosophy uh, when it comes to cooking with vegetables yeah good honest simple dishes yeah yeah exactly <laughs> um will you be doing anything with, with different with gerard's bar as well yeah so we're about to uh 
launch the new menu, and um, we, we're honing our focus uh, on like a middle like a Middle Eastern bar. So we're going to be doing a lot more traditional uh, style of eating. So, we, but still f keeping within like the sort of fun uh, Gerard's way. Uh, we're we're going to be focusing on. Um, we're getting a wood fire oven put in uh, that we have. We have one at the back there. You probably be able to see. We're mm -hmm. getting like a slightly smaller version, and so we're going to be doing lots of different flatbreads and uh, pitas and shawamas and things like that, which would be like fun bar food and you know something that you you're happy to have a delicious beer or <laughs> cocktail <laughs> with. Yeah, so sounds, sounds really glass good. Glass of wine. So yeah, that's that's something that we're going to be uh, doing in the next couple of weeks. So yeah. It's right. exciting. Yeah. That, that, that's really something to look forward to. Thank you. Adam, yeah. thank you for your time today. That's been really interesting. And uh, we look, look, wish you a lot of luck with, your, with, with the new menu and the new dishes. Thank you thank so you. much. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks.